Hey guys, welcome to episode number 226. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday, and I've had a few requests, so I've decided to do an update video on the 90 gallon saltwater tank that's at work. Um, as you can see, we've got plenty of uh, rock in there now that was originally dry rock, at least most of it was. I believe it was about 100 pounds, uh, but you do see a couple more colorful pieces up top there. Those were the original pieces of live rock that I had in my 10 gallon saltwater tank. And you'll notice the clownfish are still doing very well uh, growing and uh, this is kind of the spot that they've claimed. Eventually we're talking about getting an anemone for them uh, but again that might be a little ways off. Uh, and we do have a few more inhabitants to this tank now that it is a month or so old, uh, but as you can see they're fairly shy and there's plenty of hiding places. We, we do have a fox face here. Uh, he's uh, kind of on the smaller side, but uh, he's uh, getting along fairly well with the rest of the inhabitants of the tank. And we do have an angel right there, very colorful, very pretty. Uh, we did have a couple feather dusters, there's one there, but I don't think they made it. And uh, we do have a spotted mandarin uh, who's kind of difficult to see, but if you can see on that piece of rock there, he's just chilling out. There he is, he's moving now. Kind of hard to see, especially uh, from this camera, but he is in there and he does like to chill out uh, in, the, in the coral and uh, he is difficult to spot at times, but uh, those are the fish that we currently have in the tank. We started out with the uh, just the clowns and then we added um, the three more. And uh, I think that's as many fish as we're going to get for the time being uh, while we let this tank kind of break in the rest of the way. You'll notice we are getting a little bit of uh, algae growth here on the sand and there's plenty of uh, green and brown and coralline uh, algae is growing um, on the tops of the coral. Uh, just if I stand back you'll notice we do not have any actinic light running uh, on this tank although we do have a bulb, an actinic bulb that's not in right now. Uh, we are still using this uh, basic, uh, I think it's a 36 inch fixture here, two bulb uh, T8 or whatnot. And uh, it's okay for right now, but eventually um, that lighting is going to be upgraded. We do have two power heads, and they are a little strong, so I think one of them is off right now. But we've got one there, and we've got one there. We might eventually put those on a cycle so that they kick on one at a time to kind of give a good uh, wave action to the tank. But as it is right now, um, this one needs to be adjusted a little bit because you can see all the sand is uh, blown away in that corner. But uh, everything else is going fairly well with the tank. Uh, you'll see we have our overflow box there. We've got two overflow tubes that go down below. And then we've got the two returns. A little bit of salt creep going on up here, but nothing too bad. We've got two heaters that are sitting back behind there. And if we go down below, it's a little dark down here, but we do have the uh, two overflows back in that back corner, and you might see there is a media bag there. I think it's a 200 micron sock, and that's uh, our primary form of mechanical filtration right now, is just to get the giant stuff out of the, uh, the water. And we did pick up a protein skimmer, as you can see here on the front. Uh, luckily it fits in the, uh, in the sump, and so that's got about an inch and a half of uh, slime that we need to clean out of there but that's the result of uh, two or three days of operation so pretty happy with that that it's working and uh, then we do have the return pump here uh, going back up to the top so that's kind of the sump setup right now pretty basic and uh, it's kind of cobbled together uh, from used parts so it might get some improvements along with the lighting uh, at some point, but for right now, it seems to be working fairly well. Again, we're waiting for this tank to kind of get broken in, uh, and uh, pretty soon we'll be picking up a, a cleaning crew 
uh, for this tank. Right now it doesn't have enough algae growing in it to support um, you know, hermit crabs and, and shrimp and whatnot. But uh, I'm gonna feed some brine shrimp. These guys have actually been without food for a couple days. And I'm also gonna turn the power off so that we don't get it all uh, spilling over the top. But I did feed a full cube of uh, frozen brine shrimp. It's uh, honestly too much food, but uh, these guys haven't been fed all weekend, so um, we'll probably start feeding half cubes here in the future, but uh, I just wanted to get these guys out and feeding on camera for you. Foxface seems to be uh, feeding very well. Um, the angel was worrying us a little bit, but seems to be socializing and eating fairly well as well. And the clowns have been dominating the tank uh, ever since we put them in. But anyways guys, that's a look at the 90 gallon work tank. Uh, if you have any suggestions on uh, equipment that we should uh, pick up for this tank um, or additional fish which might be, or invertebrates for that matter, which might be compatible with what you see here, let me know. Definitely looking for suggestions on how to improve the sump as well. Uh, again, this is definitely a work in progress and a lot of it is used equipment. So that's what we've got so far, but really pleased with uh, what we've put together so far and uh, how it's doing. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys later.